Hello guys, in this video I'm going to talk about uh, the requested topic that so many people requested me since I started to post my backgrounders uh, on my Instagram is the uh, top stitching tool, the puckering tool and the, the zipper tool. So like all these three we are going to talk about. As you can see I used um, all these tools on this backpack and it turned out like really fun. The base fabric material I created in Substance 3D Sampler and basically I just added the stitching on top. Here you can see. So these are, these are the stitches. And basically how you can do it is that you, you have to just create a new layer and you go to the brushes and you look for the top stitching tool. And here you can here you can find it at the bottom. You select it, and basically you can just uh, click on the model, and already you can see that it created the stitching. And here in this um, top menu bar, there are like a bunch of options that you can choose from. First, um, you can change how you would like this um, curve to look. Basically, that can help you. And handle size, path width, it, you can you can change uh, all of this and unselected path color, path color, and all of these uh, all of these other things that help you visualize what is actually happening. And you can change the size of the stitches and the uh, stroke capacity flow, all of these things. And um, what is kind of important to talk about is that you can you can um, move these um, points. So basically you cannot do anything wrong because it's totally editable. And here you can uh, change the how you would like this pass to look. So like you would like to have like corners or smooth. It's absolutely up to you like this, for example. And if you select the last uh, point, then you can decide that if you would like to close the pass or just leave it open. So this is really useful, I would say. And uh, here in the properties panel, you can select from a lot of different type of stitching, for example, decorative stitching. There are uh, really like a bunch that you can choose from. You can change the color. So here you can see better what is happening. Satin stitch. These are also really fun. I use this uh, this kind of st uh, stitching on this bag. This one. So you can change the puckering intensity depending on what kind of fabric you're using under it. Yeah. So this is about. You can just basically experiment with uh, experiment with this. It's really fun. Like at least I had like so much fun with this. The next next uh, next thing you can do is that you can try the puckering tool. Oopsie, puckering tool, and it creates this really cool effect that you can use in I think multiple projects, and it works exactly the same way. So you can change all the all the properties and everything for density, for smoothness. It looks really amazing. For intensity. So this is the puckering tool. And the last one is the zipper tool. Zipper tape. So with this you can create basically zippers super easily. And with all these parameters, you can just uh, you can just change, you know, what kind of fabric you would like to have, and the roughness, what kind of uh, material it should be made of, like metal, plastic, or this invisible one. It looks really interesting as well. And the roughness. So basically, that is all that I wanted to mention about this, uh, this, these tools. And now you can see how I, I created all this, 
all these stitches on the side of the bag it just traced everything and it's, it looks super fun and um, you can we can send this to stager just to check how did we do So here we go again and what we can do is that just uh, add just like a, a background to this bag at the camera select something what should we use as a base terrazzo is always good Oh, and we have a new terrazzo material, red one, red terrazzo material. Nice. Hmm. Make it ten. Let's do another ray tracing. Let's see what happens. I'm not sure I like this dark blue color. Maybe, maybe, maybe I do. But uh, the roughness, I don't like where is the roughness. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. Okay, let's add the camera. Oh, yeah, I already did, sorry. And then, depth of field, you just set the focal point and just blur. Let's make another camera. Let's go closer. What I really like in stages is that uh, when you drop a point for the depth of field, it's just, uh, and when you zoom out, it, it's just going with the model. And uh, we can change the lighting to something different because I'm not sure that I like this, this lighting all of a sudden. I don't know why I always end up using this uh, elevator corridor HDRI map, it's just so nice. Anyway, so um, this is all about the top stitching tool, the puckering tool, and the zipper tool. If you have any questions, just put it in the comments comments below, and I will try to answer it as soon as possible. And uh, thank you so much for watching, and uh, see you in the next one. Bye.